Welcome to Cast 5 of our series of five webcasts covering the new BSEN 62305 standard, Protection Against Lightning. As you will have deduced by watching the earlier webcasts, the more information made available to the lightning protection contractor, the more likely the risk assessment will be accurate and enable an optimum solution to be derived. Building service professionals have a major part to play in either undertaking a detailed risk assessment and design themselves, or providing sufficient detailed data including which of the three risks their client wishes to consider. Even in this latter case, the professionals will still need to coordinate the lightning protection system, particularly the SPD and separation distance aspects, with the other building services. This is because the lightning protection contractor is unlikely to have the appropriate contractual relationship or access to appropriate levels in the contractual chain to enable all coordinated measures to be considered and applied. It is vital to ensure that your chosen lightning protection contractor is competent in their understanding of 62305 and is able to provide the information required to justify their selection of the protection level. One good way to ensure that your contractor is competent is to ensure that they have third party accreditation of their competence to understand and apply the requirements of 62305. There is only one body in the UK currently undertaking training and accreditation to BSEN 62305, ATLAS, the Association of Technical Lightning and Access Specialists. Insist on seeing the contractor's ATLAS accreditation and don't accept anything less. If contractors are not provided with or do not request pertinent information at the initial or tender stage, it may indicate that they do not understand the requirements of the standard and are unlikely to be able to deliver an appropriate level of protection. Information you should be asked for is typically which of the four risks the client wishes to assess, for example, loss of human life, size, characteristics and location of the structure to be protected, number and characteristics of incoming lines and connected structures, characteristics of internal services, number of people to be in the structure, the time in hours per year the structure is to be occupied, risk of explosion or other pertinent information. See the risk assessment questionnaire at www.omegaredgroup.com BSEN62305 tab for full details of the information required. This will ensure that the risk assessment is comprehensive and provides accurate results. Help the industry to help you protect yourself against ongoing liabilities Choose a contractor that is competent. That concludes our short presentations on BSEN 62305, parts 1 to 4. And on behalf of Omega Red Group, Andy and myself, we would like to thank you for your interest in our webcast and look forward to being of service to you in the future.